On Purple Pride today, we'll be learning about Push America, a national philanthropy owned and operated by Pi Kappa Phi. We'll be learning about some of their local events, such as Pi a Pi Cap, as well as other national events that they're doing to help raise money for people with disabilities. Welcome to this episode of Purple Pride. I'm Martin Pape. Today we'll be looking into one of the newest philanthropies to Nacogdoches, Push America, which is funded by and operated by Cap Pi Kappa Phi. Before I welcome our guests, we heard all about one of the, their local events, Pi, Pi Cap, that helps raise money for, for people with disabilities. I'm Zach Jones. I'm the PUSH chair for Pi Kappa Phi here. And what I do is just kind of coordinate all the different PUSH events for our chapter. Pi a Pi Cap is a event we, we do where you can pay a dollar to Pi a Pi Cap or three dollars to Pi any of the ladies that are affiliated with, affiliated with us, and all the money that we that we gather goes towards helping people with disabilities and promoting awareness for them. Push America is a philanthropy that's actually owned and operated by Pi Kappa Phi. It's the only we're the only fraternity that owns our own philanthropy, and it just like I said earlier, it raises money for um, people with disabilities and promoting awareness and just getting uh, awareness out there that we can help them and they're just like everybody else. We'll, we'll have our annual uh, Pedals for Push, which it's a 72-hour bike-a-thon where we have a stationary bike. It'll be going 72 straight hours, never stopping. We switch off but and we raffle off items and those, that money we get from that raffle goes towards, once again, funding the awareness for people with disabilities. And then we'll have our Miss Push pageant, which is a beauty pageant to help us determine a lady that can um, represent us as a fraternity and also raise money. Push America has this event and several others throughout the school year. But how did Push America begin and how else did they help the community? Joining me today to answer our questions is Zach Jones, the local Push America chairman. Thanks for coming on the show, Zach. Thanks for having me. How are you today? Pretty good. How you doing? I'm pretty good. We're uh, just coming back from Thanksgiving break. How was your Thanksgiving? It was awesome. You know, you can't beat home cooked meals and lots of food. Yeah. Did you watch any football while you were eating? Watched all the games. Nice. Can't, Texans coming on top yeah, again. Yeah, that was a big comeback. So uh, tell me about Push America. What is it exactly? Push America is uh, Pi Kappa Phi's philanthropy. Pi Kappa Phi is the only philanthropy or only fraternity that owns and operates their own philanthropy. Mm -hmm. And what it does is it raises money to help the awareness of, for people with disabilities and to help make more areas friendly to them. Okay, and uh, how did uh, Push America start? It started back in the 70s when uh, a couple Pi Caps got together and they wanted to, um, they just wanted to help sp spread the word about um, raising money for people with disabilities and just raising awareness. And uh, when did it start here in Nacogdoches? Well, our a fraternity got founded back in 2011, so that's when we kind of got it started up here. Okay, and uh, what sort of national events, like what, what is Push America exactly like? There's a couple national events that we hold. There's one called the um, Journey of Hope, which is a kind of like a, a bike ride from the west coast to the east coast of the United States. And they have stops along the way where they hang out with people and once again raise awareness and just kind of have a good time while raising money. And uh, what sort of disabilities do y'all normally help with? Anything. Disabilities, it's a um, wide range. People from wheelchairs to maybe um, mental disabilities, all ranges of it. Okay. And do, like, do y'all go to these places or do y'all, do, like, where do y'all meet these people at? Uh, for the Journey of Hope, anyways, along the way they'll have different stations set up, maybe at um, different houses or companies that want to sponsor them. Okay. And, um... What do you personally enjoy about Push America? Like, why do you do it? 
I'll, I, I always like giving back to people. Yeah. I go on mission trips every summer, and just the feeling to um, help people that may not be able to help themselves is really yeah. self-gratifying. What's, what's been your favorite mission trip that you can remember? Um, it didn't really have to do with Push America, but uh, every summer I go, I just build houses, okay. and it's like really what enjoyable. area do you, like, where do you go? I've been to mostly around Texas. I've been to okay. Center, Huntsville, Conroe. Okay. And um, with Push America, how did you help get it started here? Like, how did you get it to Nacogdoches? Or? Well, I'm the, um, the Push chairman as of right now, so I kind of help lead all the events and get them organized and help to get people to come out and support us. Okay. Uh, when did Pi Kappa Pi get here? Got here back in, in the spring of 2011. Okay, and uh, did you join back in 2011, or how long have you been a member? Yeah, I was actually um, a founding father here, so okay. we started the process back in, in, I think, 2010, then we f got our official national charter in 2011. Okay, and uh, how many members do y'all have right now? We have 32 active members. Okay, and uh, do y'all do have, like, a president and all of that? Like yeah, we just went through new officer elections. I just okay. got elected vice president, so okay. and we're looking forward to making big things. Okay. And how many officers do you all have right now? We have seven officers. Okay. And uh, what made you want to push, to be the push chairman? Like, why did you uh, join put want to be the chairman? Sorry. Uh, that's no problem. <laughs> I just love, like I said, I love giving back and, um, just raising, raising awareness and raising money because I know it goes to a great cause. And, uh, do you all have anything coming up right now? In the spring, we'll have two events. We'll have our bike-a-thon, which is we ride a stationary bike for 72 straight hours to raise money and awareness. And then we'll have our Miss Push pageant, which is kind of like a beauty pageant. And it helps us to elect a female representation of Push America on campus. How much uh, money do you raise at Bikeathon in these type of events? Last Bikeathon, we raised about $500. 500 And uh, how many people participated, do you know? The whole, ch the whole chapter participated, so probably around 30. Oh. We take turns riding the bike through that. The bike never stops spinning for 72 straight hours. So, so. there's only one bike and you just... Mm -hmm. We okay. rotate. And uh, what are push events? Are they going to be on campus other than the ones we just talked about? We have... Those are our two big ones. We have lots of little ones, like the Pi Pi Cap, where... Mm -hmm. Just what it sounds like, you, you buy a pie cap and give some money, and then we'll have push-ups for push, which pay money, we'll do push-ups, and just kind of small events like that. Okay, and uh, what's your most, America, most, sorry, most memorable experience with Push America right now? Probably the bike-a-thon, because it, it helps bring the campus together, kind of, I feel, and helps bring our chapter together, because yeah. they what? all know they're raising money for a good cause. Where did y'all do this, uh, the bike at? Right outside of the student center. Right outside the student center, okay. And, uh... What's the biggest lesson that you learned from so far? <laughs> um, I've learned that it takes a lot of planning to get just little stuff together like that, but it's worth it in the end. And uh, what's your favorite, what's your favorite, so your favorite push events, the bike uh, do girls, are girls involved as well, or is it just guys? Anybody that wants to get involved can be involved. Like, do y'all have a partner or sorority involved with y'all? Uh, we have a couple, not one in particular, and you don't even have to be in Greek life. You can just come out and if you want to hang out with us and ride the bike, we're, we oh, encourage okay. you to do that. Oh, nice. And uh, do you see yourself keep going with Push America after college? Uh, definitely. I want to still keep involved with it my whole life. Okay. And uh, what, what are the national events? What else do y'all have? We have Build America, which is through Push America. It's what it sounds like. You go and build stuff. Then we have a or Gear Up Florida, which is a bike thing. It's, it's on a smaller scale than the national one, but it's just across Florida. Do you have any participants here at SFA? Uh, no, not as of right now, but we're looking to. We're looking to get some people in the national events. Okay, and um, going back to starting the Push America, uh, how many people were originally in it, and then how many are in it now? Like, has it grown since you were first in it? Oh yeah, it's definitely grown. You know, on our chap in our chapter, it wasn't that big when we first got chartered, but now everyone's starting to kind of catch the fire and get involved with it. Okay, and. Uh, how can the community get involved? Uh, I mean, you said anyone can join. Yeah, just if you see us, we'll advertise all of our events on campus. We'll make flyers. If you see them, just come out and help us and support us, and you can involve any way you want to. Okay, and uh, how, where do you all post your flyers at? Just all over campus? Or? All over campus. We'll make Facebook pages okay. everywhere. And uh, what's y'all's Facebook? How do you get there? How do you get um, It's PiecapsSFA.org. It's a okay. Facebook page. Okay, and uh, do y'all have any other social media sites that we can get to? We have... Uh, Twitter, and we have, I'm, I'm pretty sure we have an Instagram, too. Oh, nice. And uh, do you know how many people, like, does one person run that, or do y'all, like, share it? We or? share the responsibilities, so it can always be updated when it needs to. Oh, okay. And uh, how, many, how many people run that? Uh, that's 
I think around three or four. You know, it just helps everyone to stay involved with it. Oh, okay, cool. And um, for Push America, how many people do we do we normally see at these things? You know, it just depends. Some of the smaller ones, it's maybe 20 to 30. And the bigger ones, it gets upwards to a couple hundred. So it's it's fun over the course of a couple of days. Do you have, so you're saying uh, the people have to rush? You, they don't have to, right? No, they don't have to rush. We, um, a lot of the people that are out there with us are not part of the fraternity. It's just people that want to give back. Oh, that's very nice. Is it, uh, does it help you get into a fraternity if you do it, or does that not come into consideration? I mean, you can, of course we want you to join the fraternity, but if you don't want to, it's no problem. It definitely helps you get to know everybody. How many, about, how many service hours do you think you've done? In the past two years, we've done two 72-hour bike a so I'd probably put it maybe a little over 200 service hours just through Push America. Oh, that's very impressive. And um, the beauty pageant, you mentioned something about a beauty pageant. Can you explain mm -hmm. more about that? Yeah, it's, um, we, a whole bunch of girls get together and they have a different um, things that they have to do, talents, uh, like a evening wear type thing and a couple other ones and what they do we have judges and we have a popular vote and a judges vote and whoever wins that is like I said kind of the female representation of Push America on campus so she'll come out to all of our events and just help um, raise awareness and help people get, get people involved. And about how many girls participate in that? The last one we had it was right at 10 I think. Okay and uh, when's the next one coming up? It'll be probably the end of February to early March. End of February to early March okay and uh do you know, how often do you interact with the winner of that event? We encourage them to come out to all of our events, and not just our events, but just to hang out with us in general. Okay, so she tries to spread the word. Exactly. About. Okay, cool. And does she have to participate in Push America to be in the pageant, or anybody? Uh, prior, no. She doesn't have to have any affiliation with Push America, but we encourage her when she gets um, voted on to become more involved with it. Okay. And uh, have, you, have you met... How many people do you think you've met through this? Like, are these, do you have friends and? Oh yeah, I have um, friends in uh, all other states just through PyCast, they're PyCast, but they're also involved with Push America. So okay. it's good to kind of get involved with people from other areas as well. And so what other school do y'all normally, what, what schools around Texas do you um, participate? Do you in know? Texas, we've participated with U of H and um, UT Arlington. Then we're involved with um, the, our, the pie caps over in Natchitoches, Louisiana, at Northwestern. And okay. They're big push America. And uh, are y'all trying to expand it to other colleges right now? Or? Oh, definitely. We want to we want to get involved with as many other colleges as we can. Okay. And uh, so, what what about the bikeathon? Did you get the most out of? Like, what what made you? Um, I like the fact that we all came together as one. You know, we're a whole bunch of different people in the campus. And we all came together as one for a common mission, and it was really, it was a really cool experience. Nice. And uh, what made you want to be the chairman? Well, because I've seen with things I'll, I have passion for, if it doesn't go exactly right, I kind of get upset. I know that sounds selfish, but so I like to see it done in the right way and to get the most out of it. Okay. And uh, who else do you work with? Like, who are your officers? Underneath you, um, you know, the whole fraternity helps out with it, but we are partnered up with the Special Olympics in Lufkin, and they come out okay. to some of our events. And we come, we go help them with some of their events too. And at the end, all the money we raise, we cut a ten percent check, and it goes to the push or the Special Olympics in Lufkin. And do you think you've made a progress so far getting people to help out? I think so. I think we've definitely seen an increase. There's definitely more people for Push America. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Hey, well, that's all we have the time for this episode of Purple Pride. I'd like to thank our guest, Zach Jones, for stopping by to tell us about Push America. For more information about how to help out or donate to Push, visit the website below. Thanks for watching this Push America edition of Purple Pride. Once again, I'm your host, Martin Pape. We'll see you next time.